Hey guys, so I wanted to do something different. I thought this was kind of cool on a channel I used to watch. It was uh, about ROS, which is a robotic operating system, and it uh, it's used for a lot of things, uh, and it's in incredibly complex. But I thought it was cool the way that he would do some of his videos. He would go out to the forums and then look at questions and answer them. Um, I'm hoping to do kind of the same thing, but I'm going to go out there and uh, look beforehand and then we'll just go over kind of what I thought the answer was. Um, and I think uh, hopefully this will help you kind of see the value behind forms, but then also uh, if you had that particular question, uh, hopefully it gets answered. So in this one, we'll take a look at a Navisworks question and we'll jump into Google and we'll just look at the form. So this is the Navisworks form. And if you haven't seen forms before, I have them saved up here. I have um, the Revit products forms and this one has uh, the different Revit products, which is architecture, MEP, and then Navisworks forms. If you actually go out to Autodesk and just search the forms. You'll get this probably at the top of your search. And then uh, through this list, you can kind of choose the form that you care about. So for Revit, if you go to Revit products, and then, you know, if you wanted uh, AutoCAD, you go over here and choose one of the AutoCAD platforms. Or if you want to navigate works, you'd uh, go find it here, and then you would click on it, and then it would jump you to that that form, um, or actually to this uh, location where you can choose if there's multiple forms. Revit kind of has the same thing, and then from here you could choose the API one or the forms one. So in this one, we'll take a look at the Navisworks form. I've got that already open, so I'll just jump to it. So Active Grid command only shows one model that's the question um if, and what we'll do is we'll jump into navisworks as well and kind of take a look at this but if we read his question it says i would like to change the grid and levels from one setting at the moment um and from what i get what he wants to do is switch from one model to the other one from the different grids and to give you an idea i did try to answer this uh, my answer was uh, the only thing I can think of is that one of the models did not have grids because that would cause it not to come in and have grids same with maybe if you had a different file format outside of Revit you may uh, have this issue he doesn't necessarily specify the um, the file format that he imported so but with Revit, if the grids are placed, you'll be able to bring. I did bring an NWC with no grids. And if you can see up here in that option, which is in the View tab on the, um, the Grids and Levels panel, if you drop down that uh, uh, drop down panel, you don't get the option to select the other project. So the, and the way that this is set up is it says Project 2 because it's the name of the NWF. But in the project two, it's the first project that's appended, essentially is what that first selection is. And for the second one, if this did have grids to it, what it would say is like project two and then no grids. So it would give the project name or the NWC name next to it. And we'll kind of take a look at that. And then down here, I kind of went through and showed that. So, um, this is the uh, Revit architecture model, the advanced model. And then we were able to apply the architecture grid. So the architectural model's grid, and you can see that here, and then you can just switch it. So we switched the uh, advanced Revit mechanical uh, electrical model, and you can see that the grids shifted uh, over there to that electrical model. So here's the arc, and then over here to the right is the, the um, MEP model. So um, what we'll do is we'll kind of take a look at that in Navisworks. And uh, we'll also take a look at some of the other options as well when you're in there. 
So I'm going to go ahead and open up Navisworks. And what we'll do is we will open an NWF that I've already created. So here, so I think this is kind of an important point. And it may, you know, um, you can determine this before you really set up your models. You can go in there and uh, have your NWF created, have the links there, and then overwrite the architectural MEP and all those other ones. And just make sure that whatever the first one was is the one that you primarily read the grids from. So if you're primarily reading your grids from the structural NWC, then make sure that's the first import because generally it'll default to that as the grids. Uh, but from there, it's a manual change. So that's why I have R RAC, which is the architecture model and the ME model. First was uh, the RAC model was appended then the mechanical and then down here in the mechanical and then the architectural model. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and open this architectural and MEP one. And you can see the first one up here is the architectural one because it was the first one appended. And because of that, it's the first one up here on the grids. And if we drop this down, you can see you get this option to change it. Uh, and it's as simple as that. That's, I mean, all you have to do is just switch it uh, and you get to see the different ones. So um, it's easy enough to set up. Just make sure that your NWCs are in place and linked into the NWF. And then when you go to override them for a new project, um, you know, if it's typically your structural, just make sure that's appended first because it'll default to that, um, that first appended model and its grids. And again, you know, if, that, if anybody has issues with that, they can go up there and change it. So uh, you're not really stuck with it. Now, if we try to recreate that warning, what I'll do is I will, I will <clears throat> append a model that doesn't have grids in it, and then I'll append a model that does have grids in it. So this one is no grids NWC. Go ahead and open it. You can see it's just a couple of um, some walls. And if we go up to the grids button, so that'll be back in the view uh, tab, you can see that we don't get the option to even place any grids because there's no grids located in this model. If we go back to home and then append, we can append the one with grids. I'm going to go ahead and press open. And you can see now it's turned on. And if we go back to the view tab, we can try to change it and we can see we get no option to change it. So um we're kind of stuck with this one if you want to turn grids off you can turn them off that way if you don't want to see them at all and just to go over some of these other buttons uh levels is set up to if you split your model up in levels then you have that option to change it to like level two three or whatever um and that only applies when you've set this to fix so if we come down here to fix we can see if we move it, it's kind of down there and it stays down there. But if we come up here, we can change it to another level. And what we can do is actually um, recreate that. So with our model open, what we'll do is we will export out. And well, first what we'll do is we'll make sure. So we have two levels in here. We'll come up to file. We'll do export. We'll do NWC. And then we'll just say, um, so let's just say with levels. And then we'll go to the Navisworks settings. And then in this dialog window, I think at the bottom, we had divide file into levels. If we have that checked, press OK. And then go ahead and save this. And then we'll minimize it. And then now if I if I bring that model in, if I go to home, append, and then bring in with levels open, you can see it's a little bit bigger. And if we go back to the view tab, we should get that option to switch it. So we have project three. We grab that. And then what we do is we'll come out here to mode, make sure it's set to fixed. We'll go to level. 
and now we get that option for level two. All it's doing is it's fixing it to a specific level. You can see it's kind of stuck there. If we look from the um, from under it, we can see it changes to red. Those colors, the reason why it does that is it's a setting right here. So you can see level above, um, it's set to red, level below, it's set to green. And then other is um, gray. So um, that's the reason why it changes. It's nothing, it's, the grids aren't changing or anything. It's just the way that you're viewing them. That's it. And then um, uh, if you wanted to switch it to a different level, you would just uh, drop that down and then select a different level. It would bounce to that level uh, two reference plane uh, in this example. And this is kind of cool. If you go into those grids, you can snap to certain areas. So D2, level two. Um, you can kind of get an idea of where those different grid intersections are. Uh, there's also some options for like location and stuff like that for your um, HUD or whatever it's called to kind of show when you're flying through a model your location of where you're at. Um, another thing is, is over here, if we switch to another one of these options, what it'll do is it'll turn off if, it, if we're in above. If we go down to the, the bottom, it'll show up. The same goes with below. If we go up, it'll show us. If we go down, it won't. And uh, this gives us both options. So what we had originally. And then if we do all, it shows us all. And you can see where that gray comes in. If we uh, go in there, we can just change it for the front of it, just to kind of highlight it. Let's go in there and change it to something a little bit brighter than than that we'll do um, yeah okay so you can see there um, that's all it is it's just showing you those grids in the background and if you don't want this like you don't want these uh, um, dotted lines then what you would do is go back to grids and levels and you can turn off x-ray mode press ok and then it shows like this uh, and that's pretty much it really with uh, grids themselves and as you saw, we kind of recreated that. We don't get that option for this model here, and that's any models that don't have grids uh, in them when they get exported to an NWC. Um, they, it just has nothing to pull from, so um, you, you know, there's no way to show it. So that's kind of recreating that that example or that problem he was having. Not entirely sure if that was the issue. It could have been that it was a different file format. I'm not entirely sure, but this is definitely one cause. Um, and if it was a different file format, then it naturally would be the same cause. It just there was no grids to pull from, so it couldn't create them. And you only got options for one. It just happened to be the ones that had the grids. So uh, hopefully this helped you out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, thanks a lot for watching.